Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, here we are with game 15 of 35 in the Seaver experiment of 1969. It's right there. We're playing against the Phillies, and we're in Shad Park in Philadelphia. And uh, Tom Seaver. From what I see here in actuality, he got no decision. Or at least that's, I, I didn't write down if he won or lost this game, but he pitched seven innings, gave up 10 hits, five runs, five earned runs. Looks like five walks, eight strikeouts, and two home runs in this game. We're going to follow how he does in this game. At the end of the month, at the end of the month of June, we will tally up and compare and contrast. There's a, about three more starts, I believe. Um, the 19th, the 23rd, maybe three or four more starts for the month of June. And uh, so far, um, his stats are almost identical except for one, wins and losses because the Mets just not have not been scoring any runs against them or for him in his favor. Um, very light hitting and uh, not scored more than one or two runs on a daily basis. So... That's where we stand right now, and we're going to get started. The Mets are coming to bat, and the lineup is A.G. at first, and Boswell at second, batting second. Garrett at third, batting third. Jones in left field, batting fourth, cleanup. Fifth is Shamsky. Sixth is Crane Pool at first base. Seventh is Martin J.C. Martin at catcher. Shortstop is Weiss, batting eighth. He's the hot batter. And Tom Seaver, Tom Terrific, batting ninth. Uh, we go to the Phillies. It's third baseman Taylor leading off. Cookie Rojas at second. Batting second, right fielder Callison. Batting third. Batting cleanup is Briggs, the left fielder. The catcher, Ryan. The catcher converted to first base is Watkins. He's batting sixth. Batting seventh is Larry Heisel, the center fielder. Batting eighth is the shortstop, Harmon. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Johnson, Jerry Johnson. And Jerry Johnson, we can look at his stats quickly, and I'll tell you a little bit of what, what he did. Uh, overall, the, the Phillies had a losing record. Their record was 70-92, and 92, so the Mets should be able to... Um, he was uh, Jerry Johnson was 6-13 and 13 with a 4.28 ERA. So the Mets should be able to pound him today, but you never know in baseball, right? Very unpredictable. So let's get started. Now I will try to, I'm going to remove the uh, dice tower. Um, it's been, believe it or not, it's been damaging my fingers from going in there and banging against the side of the edges of the tower. Um, so I'm going to just roll into the tray, my little mini baseball tray. Um, and, uh, and we're going to get started here. Let's remove visitors, home batting, Philadelphia, Ron Taylor goes into the Mets dugout. All right, let's get started with the Mets. I don't even think I set up the Mets uh, lineup yet. So you're going to have to wait a split second here for me to do that. Harrelson's not in the lineup today, so it's A.G., Boswell, and Garrett. Crane pulls in there. Shamsky's in there. Jones is in there. Let me have to go into the dugout and pull out some guys. <clears throat> J.C. Martin, Boswell, Rodas. Okay. Okay, so we should be ready, ready to roll here. I'm missing anybody. Uh, let's start with Tommy Agee. Let's just throw them all in a bunch here. Let's start with Tommy Agee. Um, it's going to be Boswell and Garrett. And Jones. And then it's Shamsky, Cranepool, and Martin. I'm going to have to track down Weiss. He's somewhere to be found. All right, let's get started. Tommy Agee up to bat against Jerry Johnson. Let's say 135, and that's going to go take us to the unusual result chart. We have red one, and 
and a black five. Red one, black five. And it's one seven, one six, excuse me. Line out into as many outs as possible. So it's a line out to the shortstop. And that's going to be Harmon. Kenny Boswell, one away here in the top of the first inning for the 69 Seaver experiment. 1 4 6. One four six. It says, "Is he a flash? He's a semi-flash." Decided die says he is, so it's a strikeout. Boswell strikes out, and it's Wayne Garrett. And it's two three four, two three four. Runners on base? No, hotter, hot batter. Not hot, and it's a pop out to the third baseman. All right, three up, three down for the Mets. We go to the bottom of the second. It's going to be Taylor. One, three, four. Is it a gold catcher? Decided die says no. Well, JC is not gold anyway. I was thinking of Grody. Champion? Nope. Outfield drama. 5 6 for outfield drama. Is the left fielder iron? No, otherwise, a looping fly ball caught by the left fielder Jones. One away. And it's Rojas. Two six six. Two six six. It asks me runner. It tells me runner on first is thrown out. Lead off batter singles. No. Fly out to right field. Two away. And it's Johnny Callison, the right fielder, for the Phillies. One three four. Gold catcher. No champion. No, I'll feel drama. Three, four. Left fielder, iron. No. Fly ball again to Jones in left. Three up, three down. We go to the top of the second. Zero, zero, the score. Cleon Jones, one, one, two. Is he flash? Decided I says yes, so it's a strikeout. Shamsky. Three sixes for Shamsky. Ace. No, he's not an ace. Sad sack. Not a sad sack. Deep drive, glove. See what happens. Say five. That ball is gone. Home run for Art Shamsky. That's up one nothing. Ed Cranepool. Three four six. Three four six. Eager. No. Nope. Base on balls. So Crane Pool walks. JC Martin the batter. It's one, two, three. One, two, three, both flash and fresh. He is fresh. He is flash. It's a strikeout. JC Martin strikes out. Third strikeout. And it's gonna be Weiss. We've got to track him down. There he is. Got him. He was in he ran into the dugout. Get a new bat. Um, and it's three, four, five. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. Uh, the catcher, no. Catcher's not iron. Good eye. 
is not a good eye. Strike out. It takes us to the blue. Ooh. Takes us to the blue baseball right now. So the Mets come up with one here in the top of the second on the home run by Shamsky. They leave one. And after one and a half, it's one nothing. We go to the bottom of the inning, and it's going to be John Briggs, Ryan, and Watkins. And the baseball right now chart, Briggs is a hot batter. So it's a 4-5. Cold batter, no. So ground out to first base. Mike Ryan. Two four four. Two four four. Is he an ace? Seaver is an ace. It's a fly ball center field. So we have back to back games with the Phillies, back to back weeks or starts, if you will. One away and one at home. This one's away. Next one will be at home. One three three. Watkins is he a slugger? He's a semi-slugger. It says he is a slugger. Home run to center field. So Dave Watkins, who is filling in and learning the first base position for the Phillies, hits a home run. With two outs here and ties the score. That's a little bit of a shocker. 176 batter. All right, 344. Four. Prospect. Well, Larry Heisel is the pitcher. I'm sorry, is the pitcher a prospect? Yes, uh, no, he isn't because the side die says no. So 344. Four. It's not the batter, it's the pitcher. All right, so. Uh, Patient, not patient, so it's a pop out to the second baseman, Boswell. And that's all she wrote for two innings of play. Score now is one to one. Go to the top of the third inning. It's going to be Seaver. We're not picking the Seaver up. I can see him from here. Three, four, six. Three, four, six is Seeger eager. He is semi-eager. The side of the dice says no. It's a base on balls. So Seaver walks to lead off the inning. Tommy Agee now. It's three, five, six. Are they the same? A righty against a righty. So it's a strikeout. Agee strikes out. That's their uh, their splits. Okay, Kenny Boswell, who's 0 for 1, he struck out in the first inning. 1 4 6. Flash, he's semi flash. Said that says no, champion, not a champion. It's a ground out 4. Over to shortstop, 6. Back to first, 4 6 3, double play. We go to the bottom of the third, 1 1. Terry Harmon. Let's say two, three, five. See Wild? No. Eager? No. Ran out to the second baseman, Boswell. Four, three. And now it's going to be the pitcher Jones batting. Let's say three, four, five. Uh, iron catcher? No. Is he a good eye? No. Strikeout. And takes it to the right now for the leadoff batter Taylor. Two outs, leadoff batter Taylor. One six, baseball right now. One six, hot pitcher. Yes, he just struck out the last batter. Fools batter into swing an outside pitch. Easy grounder, chops down on it. Easy grounder, shortstop. So it's six three. And that's the end of three. We'll go to the top of the fourth. 1-1. One, one.
Excuse me, Wayne Garrett. Wayne Garrett popped up in his first at bat. One three five. That's going to go over to be an unusual play result with a red one and a black five. So we've done this before. Say four six four six. Foul tip, iron catcher loses it, others hang on. It's a foul out to the catcher for Garrett. He holds on. Cleon Jones. Cleon Jones is 0 for 1, struck out his last time at bat. He's a semi hero, semi champion, semi slugger. Batted 340, ended third in the batting title race. It was Rose, and then Clemente, and then Jones. Jones was up around 350 until the last month where he uh, had a few injuries and that slowed him down. Um, 556, 556. Ace, no. Sad sack, no. Double to right field for Cleon Jones. So with one out, Cleon Jones is in scoring position for Art Shamsky. Art homered. Solo shot in the second inning. And it's 2 2 4. 2 2 4. Pitching at home. Yes, he is. Pop up to the shortstop. So Shamsky pops up. And Ed Cranepool, lefty batter versus the righty Jerry Jones. With a runner in scoring position. 1 3 6. Ace, no. Whiffer or cold. Ed Cranepool is not neither. Infield drama. Infield drama. Let's see what happens. 5 6. First baseman gold. No. Otherwise, ball sails over the head of the batter, of, uh, of the first baseman. Batter safe at first on error. Okay. So it's a, basically a two out E6. Um, well, he's a lefty, so it's going to be, we'll make it an E4. And on a 5, that's going to be runners advance two bases, score on double, stock runner. One base on a ground out, so we'll make it a ground out. So it's going to be first and third. Um, I could potentially try to attempt to extra base for uh, who's that at second? It's Cleon Jones. Cleon Jones is neutral. Neutral or normal, they call him. Um, one to four, he's safe. Decided to die to see if the extra base is even possible. Okay, will he try the for the extra base? Yes. Now I have to roll a one to four to score on the error. And I do get it. One to four normal, he's safe. Okay, so that's gonna be a, he scores on the error, so that's the second run for the Mets. And uh, Cranepool is gonna stay at first. And it's gonna be J.C. Martin. Two one, Mets lead it here in the top of the fourth with two outs. And it's three six six. Three six six is he a pinch hitter fly ball to center field. So end of three and a half. Mets two and the Phillies one. It's gonna be Kuki Rojas. Kuki flight out to center a uh, right field, last at bat. One four five. The struggler no ground out to the third baseman. Garrett over to first, one away, and it's Johnny Callison, right fielder for the Phillies. It's 2 five, 5 Is he a star? No. Home run king? No. Fly ball left field. Cleon Jones under it, two away. And it's John Briggs. John Briggs in his last at bat grounded to first base. One four five, one four five. Struggler, no. Ground out 
to the second baseman. Over to first. And that's three away. Go to the top of the fifth now. 2-1 Mets. It's going to be Al Weiss, Tom Stever, and Tommy Agee. Say one two six. Is he fresh? It's the it, semi fresh. The side of the die says yes, he is fresh. So it's a line out to second base. So Weiss, who struck out in the first inning, lines out to the second baseman. Now Seaver walked in his first at bat. That's one three six. One three six. Is he an ace? No. Whiffer or cold? He's a whiffer, so it's a strikeout. Two away. It's going to be Tommy Agee. Tommy Agee led the Mets in home runs with 26 in 1969. It's going to be the unusual play result, 135. It's a blue one with nobody on base. And it's 4 6. Lenient umpire at home? Yes, he is. Foul, foul count. Oh, full count. I'm sorry. Full count. Visiting batter strikes out. So it's a strikeout. And that's the sixth, seventh strikeout for Johnson. Then we go to Mike Ryan. I'm trying to find the crowd. Get some crowd noise in the background. There we go. It's going to be Mike Ryan, the catcher. He flied out to center field. The first at bat. It's 3 5 6. Three, five, six. Are they the same? Righty versus righty. Strikeout. Again, the uh, splits come into play. Dave Watkins homered for the only Phillies run. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Is he a scrapper? No, he is not. It's a double to right. It's a double to right, so Watkins is 2-for-2. Two two. Wasn't even supposed to play. The actual... Uh, player in the lineup was George, I believe, Stone, and uh, first baseman who played just 18 games with the Phillies and was not part of the deck, so I had to replace him with somebody, and I didn't think it was going to be fair to replace him with Richie Allen, who had uh, 32 home runs, so I replaced him with somebody who was closest to Stone in terms of batting, and that was Watkins, the catcher. So I just made Watkins a first uh, first baseman and uh, made him an iron first baseman, a guy who's learning. Larry Heisel with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. One, four, six. Struggler, no. One, oh, no. Flash. Strikeout. Yes. Big strikeout, and that's one, two, three. Seavers third. Two out now. And Terry Harmon. And it's a 4-6-6. Is he wild? No. Home run king or slugger? No. Single to left. Runners advance two bases. So an RBI single, the game is tied. And the pitcher Johnson is batting. 3-3-6. Three, three, is he an ace? Yes. Fly ball center field. So the Phillies on two hits score one run. RBI single by Harmon. And the score is now tied. Going to the top of the sixth, score two to two. All right, Kenny Boswell. Let's say one, three, six. Is he an ace? No. 
Whiffer or Cold? Is Boswell cold? No, he is not. Infield drama. So 2 3 on infield drama. 2 3. Second baseman, Iron. Yes, he is. Bobbles the ball. Batter safe at first on an error by Kuki Rojas. So Kuki makes an error. And that's the second error for Philadelphia in the game. The first one allowed Jones to score in the fourth inning. So leadoff batter is on on an error, and it's Wayne Garrett. It's be 3 3 3. Utility or sad sack? He's utility. The side of the dice says no, so it's a tri triple to left. Home run king hits a home run. It's a triple to left for Wayne Garrett. And that scores a run. Mets are up 3 to 2 now. And it's Cleon Jones who they're going to walk. Put runs on first and third. I'm going to walk Jones, and I'm going to pitch to Shamsky. Shamsky's one for two, hit a home run in the first inning. I'm going to play the infield in. One, two, four. Control, ground out to shortstop. Seaver, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Johnson is semi-controlled. The side of that says he is control. So it's a ground out to shortstop, and I have to roll with runners on first and third. Uh, field's choice, runner on third holes. Okay, so... It's going to be a 6-4 fielder's choice. Runner on third holes. So we got one out now. Runner uh, Garrett at third base. He's tripled. And it's at a crane pool. We got him field in. And it's a 1-1-5. Fresh. Uh, the side of the says he's semi-fresh. And the side of the says yes. So it's a high fly in the infield. Gonna be Rojas. Cranepool really got under that one. JC Martin. And it's 1 1 3. I feel back now. Base, no slugger. Not slugger. Single to center field. Unless he's a sat sack. Which is side dice says no. So it's a single RBI single for Martin. Scores Garrett, and the Mets now are up by two, four to two. That's gonna be Al Weiss. It's three, four, five. Iron catcher, no good eye, no strikeout. I go to the right now for the next batter on the Phillies. Leadoff batter on the Phillies. So the Mets score two. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Mets four. Phillies two. It's going to be Tony Taylor leading off the bottom of the sixth inning. Tony Taylor on the right now. Mini chart. Say one four. City cold batters. Tony Taylor cold. No, he's not. He's neutral. So it's a fly ball to center fielder. Ag went away. Gonna have Kuki Rojas. Kuki Rojas made an error that allowed Jones to score from second base in the fourth inning for the Mets' second run. One three four. One three four is it a goal catcher? No. Champion is not a champion. Outfield drama. Outfield drama, it's 1-3. Center fielder, iron, no. Lunging catch by Ag. Beautiful catch. F8, two away. That's going to highlight reel or ESPN highlight. Although there were no ES, there's no ESPN in 1969, but if there was, it would have been. 2-3-5. 
two, three, five. It asks me, wild, based on balls. No, he's not wild. See, he's not wild. So, eager. It doesn't say eager on his card. So it's a ground ball to the second baseman, unless he's a he's patient and he is not. So that's a ground ball to Boswell. Boswell flips it over to Cranepool, and that's all she wrote for the bottom of the sixth. So we're going to go to Seaver batting. And it's 1 2 4 for Seaver. 1 2 4. Is Johnson controlled? The side says yes. So it's a ground ball right at the shortstop. Harmon over to first baseman Watkins. One away. Gets Seaver to ground out. AG. 1 2 6. Is Johnson fresh? It is the top of the seventh, so he's still semi fresh. The side dice says yes, so it's a line out to the second baseman Rojas. And he's 0 for 4 on the day. Now we have 0 for 3 Boswell, who struck out, granted into a double play, and reached base and scored on an error by Rojas. Actually, no, that, that error that uh, brought in the run was on the shortstop, Harmon. I mentioned earlier that it was on Rojas, so Rojas only has one error. This be Boswell. Two outs. Boswell is 0 for 3. So the 2 5 6. Is he a struggler? No. Champion or patient? No, it's going to be infield drama. It's 3 6. Third baseman, gold. Uh, no, there are no gold players. 3 6. Otherwise, it's batter safe. On a third baseman error, third baseman hit right at him. He bobbles it, rolls away from him, and Boswell is on it first. So Wayne Garrett, here in the top of the seventh, Mets up 4-2 to two in the 69 Seaver experiment. 2-3-4. Runner on base, plate drama. So yes, there is a runner on base. We're going to go to the plate drama. 3-4. Wild pitcher, no. So it's a strike. Strike one on Garrett. Two outs, run around first. Top of the seventh, Mets up four to two. Garrett is one for three, a triple and an RBI in the fifth. Two, four, five. Two, four, five, hero. No, nope. pop out the second base and we go to the experience. For the Phillies. So no runs in the top of the seventh for the Mets. Four to two Mets, bottom of the seventh. It's gonna be John Briggs. The right now. So this will be a 66 on the I'm sorry, in the player experience. Player experience. And uh Player experience, he is a up a four. I'm sorry, it's taking me so long, it's just out of brain cramp. So it's player experience five six icon pitcher, no. Otherwise, batter thrown out at first. So it's a comebacker to Seaver, Seaver. Over to Crane Pool, one away here in the bottom of the seventh. And Mike Ryan is batting. Two six six. Two six six. Lead off batter no. High fly. Right field. Under it is Shamsky. Two away. And then it's gonna be Dave Watkins who's two for two, a homer and a double. He wasn't even supposed to play today. Um, he was a late, late uh, game addition, right prior to the game starting, he was called to play first base, 1-1-4. Is he fresh, bottom of the seventh? 
He's semi-fresh. Decided that says yes. So it's a ground ball. Hard hit right at the shortstop Weiss. Weiss over to first. And that's it for the seventh inning. We're at the top of the eighth. Mets four. Phillies two. Cleon Jones. And Cleon Jones, 2 2 3. 2 2 3, Wild now, slugger utility. He is a slugger. Decided that says yes, he is. Line out to shortstop, unless he's a whiffer. No, he isn't. So line out to shortstop for Jones. Shamsky is 1 for 3 with a home run in the, first, in the second inning. Solo shot. Gave the Mets a 1 0 lead. And it's a 3 6 6. Pinch hitter, no fly ball center field. And it's Ed Cranepool. Ed Cranepool is 0 for 2 on a day. Reached uh, base in the second inning on a walk and in the fourth inning on a error by the shortstop. And it's a 2 3 5. While no eager, it's not eager. Is he patient? No. So it's a ground ball to the second baseman, Rojas. Rojas over to Watkins. And that's all she wrote for the top of the eighth. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. It's going to be Larry Heisel, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout against Tom Terrific. And it's 2 3 5. Oh, no. Eager. No. Be patient. Ground ball, second baseman Boswell. Boswell over to Crane Pool, one away. Terry Harmon, shortstop. 3 6 6. Fly out, right field. And it's going to be the pitcher, Johnson. Going to bat for himself with two outs, 1 2 4. Control, Seaver is semi control. Eager. Is he eager? Yes, he is. So it's going to be a pop out. Pop out to first base. Go to the top of the ninth inning. Mets up 4 to 2. You're watching the 69 Seaver experiment where we follow 35 starts and track the progress and the data. Using History Maker Baseball. And it's 4 5 5. Is he a flash? Yes, he is. So it's a strikeout. JC Martin strikes out. He's 1 for 4 on the day. He singled and drove in a run in the sixth inning. And we're going to get Al Weiss, who's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. And it's 2 4 4. Is he an ace? No. Champion? No. Is he a whiffer? No. He's, so it's a ground out to shortstop. Shortstop, Harmon over to first. Two away. And it's going to be Tom Terrific. 2 3 5. Eager. He's eager, semi die says, uh, says says he is. So if he's a whiffer, which he is, it's a strikeout. Otherwise, it would have been a hit. So that's three up, three down, and that's uh, strikeouts number eight, nine, and ten for Jones Johnson, who's gone the the complete game. And we're going to bring in Jerry Grody to play catcher. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah. Grody did come in from this game. So Grody's in there at catcher, and he's a semi-gold catcher. And in right field, we're going to get Gasper. He played in this game as well. He's semi-gold as well. So a couple of defensive replacements for the Mets. And we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Score Mets 4, Phillies 2. This is Tony Taylor, who's 0 for 3 on the day. 
and it's a 244. Is he an ace? Yes, he is. Seaver's an ace. So it's a fly ball, center field. Now, Seaver's retired 11 in a row since the single by Harmon in the fifth inning. Kuki Rojas. Kuki's 0 for 3 on the day. 1 1 5. Is he fresh? No. Long pass being fresh. He's neutral now. Home run king or sat sack? No. It's going to be a double to left field. So it's a double to left field for Kuki Rojas. As Johnny Callison. Let's say 3 3 5. Is he wild? No. Sad sack. No. It's a single to right. Runners advance two bases on any hit. If he's stoic, he's, he holds. Otherwise, he steals a base. So the side die says he is not stoic. So he steals a base. So it's a single and stolen base. And now the tying run is in second base. Boy, Seavers had this happen to him quite often. With really very little run support, he's always stuck in a situation where he's got to keep the opposition scoreless almost to win these games. So it's going to be 0 for 3 Briggs, John Briggs. John Briggs is a lefty. So what the Mets are going to do is going to replace Seaver here with a lefty. Tug McGraw. So Tug McGraw is coming in. He's going to be an ace against John Briggs with one out here in the bottom of the ninth to score Mets four, Phillies three. Trying to hold on for a Mets Seaver victory. Not easy. One, three, six. See what happens. Is he an ace? Yes, he is. Strikeout, unless he's a good eye, and he's not. So it's a strikeout. Strikes out Briggs for his first strikeout. Let's write him in. He'll be red. Time run at second base. And it's going to be Mike Ryan, the catcher. Mike Ryan against Tug McGraw. And it's a 2 2 4. Pitching at home, no, slugger. He is a slugger. The side die says yes, and it's a double to left field. There's the lightning bolt. And I can't remember. Oh, home run legend. And he's not a home run legend, so it's in a double to left field. And runners advance, one base on singles, two bases on doubles. So he scores, and the game is tied. Wow. RBI double by Ryan with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Seaver loses another potential victory. And now he's all he's got is the no decision. That was disappointing. Goodness gracious, could not get out of that inning. Okay, so it's going to be Dave Watkins who's two for three on the day. Homered and doubled, scored twice as an RBI with the winning run at second base. So Tug McGraw could lose it. And it's a 2-5-6. Two, 2-5-6. Five, six. Two, five, six. Is he a struggler? McGraw has given up one. No, he's not a struggler. Champion or patient? He's semi-patient. The side die says, yes, he is patient. It's a walk. So first and second now. And Larry Heisel, who's 0 for 3. And it's 1-3-6. Is he an ace? McGraw is... Yeah, he's still an ace. So it's a... Strikeout. Strikes out Heisel. And that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. 
That was 45 minutes, and um, I might as well continue with the game, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I was thinking of doing a, recording a double header, but I'm afraid I don't have enough battery to do that. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, I could play it myself and then show the, the box score later. Um, but that was kind of disappointing. Seaver had a win there and he lost the win. Seaver pitched eight in the third. He gave up one, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Uh, runs, he gave up one, two, three runs. Walks. None. Strikeouts. He's got three strikeouts. And home runs, he gave up one to uh, Watkins. So it's Tug McGraw. Now we go to the top of the ninth inning. Score is tied 4 4. The Phillies come up with two in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game. And uh, let me take a look at this. The so we've got the data for that game. And we're going to leave it at the 4 4 tie right now. Not really about anything beyond Seaver. So we're focused in on our experiment. Time is of the essence. So we don't want to waste time on a game that could go 11, 12, 13, 14 innings, and who knows. So once we have his dad and he's out, I'm going to start stopping these games. So it's he goes, uh, in reality, it was seven innings pitch, ten hits, five runs, five walks, and eight strikeouts with two home runs. In this game, he went eight and a third, gave up five hits, three runs, three earned runs, zero walks, three strikeouts, and one home run. No decision in both. So next game, I'm going to run a double header here, and I'll upload, uh, I'll upload two. Um, so we're at Shea, and we're going to get started. We're just going to look at what, what Seaver did here. And then we're going to get started with the game, and we'll see the lineup as we go. Um, it's going to be a win for Seaver in actuality. Nine innings pitched, seven hits, one run, one earned run, one walk, nine strikeouts, and one home run. Pretty good numbers for the ace, Tom Terrific. So uh, let's see what he does in this game, see if he can get a victory. Um, he had in, in originally had, I think, five victories in the month of June. So far, we're in June 24th start, 16 of 35. And you can see that here. And he has only one victory. So he needs to win his next two to have an opportunity to be able to win at least 20 games. Otherwise, I don't see him winning 20 games. Um, last month was a very, very poor month for Seaver in that uh, he had no, absolutely no run support, like in the game you just watched. I mean, they scored four runs, okay. But uh, it's unusual that he gets a game where it's a sleeper, where, you know, the Mets are up 7 nothing, going into the late innings. Very unusual. It's always 2-1, to 3-1, to one, and uh, there's always that opportunity that a couple of things can come together for the opposing team and they can tie up the game. So, another no decision. Let's get started. Now I'm probably going to have to break in a couple of seconds and uh, get some water. So I'm kind of getting thirsty. Now uh, there's a little, a little bit of a change. We're going to move these about around a bit. And uh, Harrelson's back in for the Mets. The Mets. So let, let's do the... It's going to be Larry Heisel leading off. Rojas is batting second. Callison, Johnny Callison, the right fielder batting third. Briggs, Stone again. This time it's still Watkins. He's still learning the ropes at first base. This player, Stone, is nowhere to be found on the in the team. He played early on, but only played, I believe, 18 games. So I replace him with the catcher who's been converted to a first baseman. And he's going to be iron. And uh, who else is iron? 
Rojas's iron and Heisel, the leadoff batter, three iron players. And then it's going to be uh, Watkins, Ryan, Mike Ryan, the catcher, Joseph. We got to pull out Joseph now. I believe I saw his card somewhere. Yeah, Rick Joseph. We're going to clip his wings a little bit, make him a little bit more presentable. Uh, if we can find the clipper. And we cannot, so we're going to leave him as is right now until we find it. should be floating around here somewhere. Okay, so Joseph is batting... Um, batting 7th. And then Harmon... Terry Harmon's bad. The shortstop is batting eighth, and then Fryman. See if we have Fryman, pitcher Fryman. If we don't have him, yep, do we have him? Woody Fryman. So that's good news. So Woody Fryman is there. That's all she wrote right now. We're going to get started. Heisel, four, five, six. Is he patient? No. Fly out to center. Went away for terrific. Rojas. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. No. Grody's back. Good eye. He is. Decided die says no. And it's a strikeout. And over to the blue right now for Gall uh, for Johnny Callison. Now we're going to roll and see real quickly to see. So the left fielder's hot. And the right fielder's not. Okay, so it's Johnny Callison on the right now chart. It's a semi slugger. 5 6. Hot pitcher, yes. And he gets uh, Callison to ground out to the second baseman for the third out. All right, we go to the Mets lineup. That changed a little bit. So we got to pull Harrelson. Callison comes in, steps in the box. He's a shortstop for the Mets today. Nelson Jones. Oh, surprise, surprise. Don Clendenin is in the Mets lineup. Finally, we get a little bit more power. Maybe we can score a few more runs. Don Clendenin is going to be the cleanup batter for the Mets today. Grody's in there. And uh, Ron Swoboda. Ron Swoboda. So, good news for the Mets. They pick up Don Clendenin from the Montreal Expos here in the 69 uh, season. He's going to go on to be big in the World Series. Swoboda, Charles... Grody, Weiss, and where's Grody? Okay, there he is. And then the pitcher. All right, let's get the Mets going here. Buddy Harrelson. Buddy Harrelson against Woody Fryman. 136. Woody Fryman is a uh, semi workman, semi flash, semi control. So 136. Ace, no. Whiffer or cold? Harrelson is not... Is he not a whiffer, not cold? So infield drama. 3-4. Third baseman, gold. No. So it's a base hit for Buddy. 3-4. Yep, base hit for Buddy. So Buddy's on first. 
And it's Tommy Agee. He led the Mets in home runs in the 69 with 26. Hasn't been hitting many for me in these 16 games, that's for sure. 1-3-3. Three, three. It asks me, is he a slugger? No, he's not a slugger. That would have been a home run. Fly out to deep left. Left fielder Briggs goes back to the warning track and one away. So it's Cleon Jones batted 340 in 69. Finished third in the batting title chase, 235. Is he wild? No. Eager? No. Ground out to second base. So it's going to be a 4 6 fielder's choice. And Jones is on it first. Don Clendenin. First at bat for John Clendenin. I'm Don Clendenin. This season, officially, it was an unofficial at bat. Which I have to, doesn't matter because Seaver was already out of the game, so I'm not going to replay that game. But I did, was not aware that he was traded to the Mets in 69. Didn't start the year with him. 1 2 4. Control. He's semi controlled. Side that says yes, he is, so it's a ground ball. And the shortstop flips to second base for the force. Mets leave one. One hit, no runs. Go to the top of the second. Phillies 0 0 the score. Johnny Briggs is a hot batter. Let's see, one two five, one two five. Struggler, no patient, semi patient. Side dice says no. It's a ground ball to the third baseman, unless he's a whiffer, and he's not. Five three. One away. Dave Watkins. He hit a home run and doubled in yesterday's or last week's game against Seaver. One one six. Fresh, yes, strikeout. Two away. And Mike Ryan, the catcher. And it's 1 2 2. Workman, no champ or whiffer. Neither champ or whiffer. Line out to the third baseman, Charles. Three up and three down. We go to the bottom of the second for the Mets. Ronnie Swoboda. It's 3 3 6. He's an ace. No. Sat sack utility or patient. He's utility. The side die says yes. Call th strike three. Swoboda doesn't like it, but it's what, it is what it is. Ed Charles. 3 4 4. Prospect. Pitcher. Willie Fryman. No. Base on balls. To Ed Charles. So Ed Charles on it first. Jerry Grody. It's four four five. Is he a workman? Semi he's a semi workman. He's not a workman. Patient. No. Ground ball to the first baseman. Over to second is Charles. No chance to get Charles. It's gonna be Al Weiss. Al Weiss, late hitting uh, second baseman, but he's a middle infielder, plays both. 2 4 5. Hero, is he a hero? No. Pop out the second base, and it's going to take us to the player experience chart for the leadoff batter, Joseph. So at the end of two, it's 0 0, top of the third. Joseph. In the player experience chart, he's semi-stoic, and he's stoic 4-6. I'm sorry, it should be, uh, he no, has no experience, I'm sorry. Um, icon pitcher, no. So otherwise, it's a, let's see, 4-6. Otherwise, hard shot to shallow right field. Great play by the first baseman out at first. And uh, Seaver did a great job. Of getting over to first base to cover. And it's gonna be Terry Harmon. Playing a double header here, the 69 
Seaver experiment. Two, three, six. Two, three, six. Double control. No. Pitcher batting. Let's see. No. Walk. So Harmon manages a walk against Seaver. Now we have Woody Fryman batting. Five, five, six. Is he an ace? Yes. So it's a line out to the third baseman, Charles. And for the second out, and we go to Larry Heisel. We go to Larry Heisel with a run around first base. Harmon is at first, two outs. And it's a 5-5-6. Five, five, Ace line out again to third baseman, Charles, and he's over there smiling. Two shots that almost took off his head. Lucky he was ready for those. Uh, the Phillies leave one, go to the bottom of the third. Moving it along here. Um, hopefully we don't run out of battery. Leadoff batter is going to be Seaver. And it's 2 3 4. We're on base, no. Hot batter. No, he's not the hot batter. Pop up. Third base. Joseph, one away. That's going to be Harrelson, Buddy Harrelson. Buddy Harrelson's one for one today, singled in the first inning. 2 3 4. We're on base, no. Hot batter. We don't know who the hot batter is for the Mets. Let's find out. It's one. So one is going to be the pitcher, and uh, and zero. You got to reroll the zero, and it's a five. The third baseman is the cold. Okay. So what was it? It was uh, how about the third? Okay. So we're going to see. Two, three, four, right? Yeah. Two, three, four. And um, they asked me if it was hot batter. No, he is not. So it's a pop out to the third baseman. Two in a row. And it's going to be Tommy Agee. Oh. And it's a one, three, five. One, three, five is an unusual play result. Red one. Red one, black three. Red one, black three. And it's a one, two. First baseman, gold. Nope. Otherwise, it's a single. So it's a single for AG. He's one for two now. And it's going to be Cleon Jones with a runner first. Two outs. And it's a two, three, four. Two, three, four. Runners on base, plate drama. See what happens. Plate drama, three, six. Iron catcher, no. It's a ball. Jones gets another possibility, another at bat. He's a semi-hero, semi-champion, semi-slugger. So it's a three, four, five. Three, four, five. Iron catcher, no. Good eye, no. Strikeout, we go to the blue. Second strikeout. That's all she wrote. Bottom for the bottom of the third. We go to the top of the fourth. Rojas on the three, four, five. On the right now chart. It's, oh, Christ, Christ almighty. And it's a 1-3. Cold pitcher. Let's see what he did. Now he's actually a hot pitcher. Um, no, I take that back. He's neutral. Hang, hang, okay. So he's neutral. Batter out on shallow. Fly ball. So AG comes in for it. And one away, Callison.
and it's 223. Two, you wild no slugger or utility slugger decided that says no. It's a single to left. So one out single for Callison. We go to Briggs, who's 0 for 1. He grounded to the third baseman. One out here in the top of the fourth. Double header. 99, uh, 1963 Seaver experiment. 1 2 3. Both flash and fresh. Yes, strikeout. Two way. Second, third strikeout for Seaver. And we go to Watkins. You gotta get those pens with the very fine point. It'd be much easier to write these tiny numbers. I'm using the wrong pens. I'm gonna do that this week or weekend. One two five. Struggler, no. One two five. Patient. He's semi-patient. Side so dice says no. This is a ground ball. Unless he is a whiffer, he is a whiffer. Strike three. And that's a third out. The Phillies lead one here in the fourth. After three and a half, no score. And we go to the bottom with Clendenin, the new Met, first game. Traded from the Expos to the Mets. And it's a 2 6 6. That's a fly ball. Oh, he's a leadoff batter, so that's a single. Single for Clendenin. Good job. Leading off. In this case, he was both the cleanup and he was the leadoff. So Ronnie Swoboda, run around first. And it's a 2-3-4, two, 2-3-4, three, four, two, three, four, run around base, play drama. See what happens. 3-3, three, three, play drama, 3-3, three, three, control pitcher. Semi-control, he is a control pitcher. So it's a strike. All right. Swoboda gets another chance. And it's a 1-3-5, that's going to be an unusual play result. It's a black one. It's a, oh, it's a mini chart, a ballpark quality. Ballpark quality mini chart. Let's see what happens here, because it's a, oh, Shea's normal. I thought we were playing, yeah, we were playing in Philadelphia, it was small. Let's see what happens, a 3-5. Big ballpark, no, it's normal. It's a home run. Ron Swoboda strokes a home run. And gives the Mets a two-zip lead. Here in the um, bottom of the fourth inning. See Ed Charles. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Control. Yes, he is. So the ground ball back to the pitcher. One away. Grody. Grody is 0 for 1, grounded to the first baseman in his first at bat. 2 6 6. And it's a fly ball to right. And it's going to be Al Weiss. And it's a 3 3 5. 3 3 5. Wild. No. Sad sack. Yes, he is. Ground ball, second baseman. Rojas over to first, but the Mets here in the bottom of the fourth pick up two runs and lead it two zip. We go to Mike Ryan. Four six six. Home run king or slugger? Not a slugger. Single to left. So in the top of the fifth, Ryan, who is zero for one, singles to left. And Joseph is batting. Joseph hit a little blooper that fell in behind the first baseman, Clendenin. And Clendenin was able to get it and rifle it over to Ryan, um, a receiver at first base. 1-1-4. One, one, is he fresh? Decided die says yes. So it's a ground ball to the shortstop. Actually, there's going to be a six, and they turn it. Great play by Harrelson. And two outs now here in the top of the fifth, and it's a three, four, six. Eager, no, three, four, six, walk. Active steals, and he's not. 
Second walk allowed by Seaver, and it's going to be the pitcher, Fryman. 2 5 6. Is this struggler no champion or patient? No. Infield drama. Infield drama. Infield drama. 1 6. 1 6. Shortstop goal. He's semi gold. Side die says yes, he is. Diving stab of a sharp grounder. Robs the batter of a base hit out at first. Great play by Buddy Harrelson. And beats Fryman hustling down the line by a step. Didn't think he was going to get him. Great play. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, 2 0 Mets. It's going to be Seaver leading off. Tom Seaver. Two, three, six. Double control, no. Pitcher batting. Yes, he is. Strikeout. So Seaver strikes out. Third strikeout for Fryman. It's going to be Bud Harrelson. Bud Harrelson's one for two, single in the first inning. Needs some insurance runs for Seaver. Uh, two, three, six. Double control, no. Pitcher batting, no. Walk. So Harrison walks here with one out, and he's at first base. Tommy Agee. Let's be a one, two, six. Is he fresh? Decided Dice says yes, he is fresh. So that's a line out to the second baseman, two away. And Cleon Jones. Cleon Jones today is over two with a strikeout in his last at bats. One four six. Flash. He's semi flash. Side of die says yes, so it's a strikeout. Fourth strikeout. And that's the end of five innings of play. Two nothing Mets. We go to the top of the six for the Phillies. Kuki Rojas. Actually, I have uh, leading off is Larry Heisel. Larry Heisel. Against Tom Terrific. It's 2 3 5. Is he eager? No. So it's a ground ball, unless he's patient. And he's not. Ground ball to second baseman. Weiss. Weiss over to first. One away. Heisel's retired. In the top of the sixth inning. You're watching a doubleheader of the Seaver experiment in 1969. 1 1 3. Seaver's an ace. It's a ground ball to the first baseman, Clendenin. Clendenin playing his first game as a Met in 1969. He came over from the Montreal Expos. 2 2 6. Batter hit by pitch. The side of that says yes. So Johnny Callison is hit by the pitch. And that's going to bring up John Briggs. 4-4-5. Four, 4-4-5. Four, five. Four, four, five. Workman, no. Patient. He's semi-patient. Side that says, yes, it's a base on balls. So a hit by pitch and the third walk given up by Seaver puts runners on first and second with two out. And Dave Watkins, the converted first baseman, uh, our converted catcher to first base is up. He's got two strikeouts. He's over two on the day, but yesterday he had two hits, a double, and a home run. Um, in the last game, I should say. One, three, four. Gold catcher decided that says yes, strikeout, unless he's a good eye, and he's not. So Grody is a gold catcher, semi gold, but decided to die, put him into the gold. So that's the third whiff for Watkins. He's three for three in K's. And that is the fourth, fifth K for Seaver. And that's all for the Phillies in the top of the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. 
Don Clendenin leading off. Don Clendenin is one for two, single and scored a run. When Ron Swoboda followed up with a home run in the fourth inning, it's two to nothing score for the Mets. Clendenin, 3-3-5, three, 3-3-5. Three, five. Three, three, five. Wild, no. Sad sack, no. Single to right, stolen base. So, Clendenin is already paying off. He's two for three with a stolen base now and in scoring position with nobody out. Ronnie Suboda. And it's a one, two, four, one, two, four. Control, he's semi controlled. The side of the dice says yes, is a ground ball to shortstop. But Clendenin is going to hold there at second. We got Ed Charles. One away now. Run around second. And it's a 2 4 6. Control. Decided Dice says no. Eager or Sad Sack. He's a Sad Sack. Decided Dice says no. Base on balls. 2 4 6. Now there's that question that lingers. Do you re roll? Once you use the Decided Die, do you re roll the Decided Die? For these three columns, I think we should. I, I should just use one decided die unless somebody tells me different. So uh, I'll try to bring that up. I bring up a lot of stuff. In the middle of the week, it's hard to find people out there. Um, so Grody, first and second, one four six. Flash. He's semi flash. Side die says yes. It's a strikeout. So Grody strikes out for the second out. And that's the fifth strikeout for Fryman. And we go to Al Weiss with runners on first and second. And it's a 3-4-6. 3-4-6, eager. He's eager. The side of the dice says no. So it's a base on balls. Base is loaded for Tom Seaver. Now we're looking for Tom Seaver with two outs here in the bottom of the six to help his own cause. Let's see what happens. And it's 4-4-6. Four, 4-4-6. Four, six. Four, four, six. Is he a star or no? Sat sack utility or patient. He's a he's a utility, semi utility, but and that's a call strike three. So the Mets uh, put two on and leave two. At the end of six innings of play, two nothing Mets. We go to the top of the seventh for Ryan. Mike Ryan, the catcher. Mike Ryan on the day is uh, one for two. He singled in the fourth inning. 3-4-6, 3-4-6, eager, semi-eager, the side of the dice says no, so it's a walk. So Seaver walks the leadoff batter, Ryan, and it's going to be Rick Joseph playing third base today for the Phillies. And it's a 3-5-6, 3-5-6, are they the same, righty versus righty, strikeout. There you go, your splits are there. I mean, I think uh, these work fine. You got them once in a while. You take advantage of them once in a while. In the end, it uh, with all the pitching changes in modern baseball, it just all kind of balances out anyway at the end. Um, so that was a six strikeout for Seaver. Runner still at first. And it's going to be Terry Harmon, the shortstop. We're in the top of the sixth. Seventh at Shea in Flushing, Queens, New York. One five six. Say whiffer, no. Outfield drama. So it's a three three for outfield drama. Three three left fielder gold. He's semi gold. Decided that says no. Fumbled a uh, single and a fumbled uh, pickup. Bad of a second. So it's a single and an error on the Mets left left fielder Jones. Single. And it's a second on an error. And that's going to allow, let's see, on a, a one, I'm sorry, on a three, that's going to be runner, if, uh, runner advances two bases on any hit. So he gets to third, and then he's going to score on the error. And now you have Harmon with one out at second base. That's the tying run. And that's going to be Travis Fryman, the batter. Here in the top of the seventh. So 115. Is he fresh? Yes, he is fresh. 
So it's going to be a high fly in the infield. And the shortstop calls for it, and that's two away. Tying run is at second base, and we're going to have Larry Heisel now. And it's a 1-3-5, one, 1-3-5. Three, five. One, three, five. Unusual result, blue one. With a runner at second, blue one with a runner at second. The umpire, and it's 66. Lenient umpire at first base. He's strict, so the answer to that is no. Well, semi-strict. So it's a 66 with runner on first. Foul ball. Batter still at bat, so one strike on Heisel. He gets another chance. Tying run is at second base. 2 2 6. 2 2 6. Batter hit by the pitch. Decided die says no. Cleanup batter. Is Larry Heisel the cleanup batter? No, he's a leadoff batter. Fly ball to left field, unless he's a whiffer. Strike three. So Seaver strikes out, gets a seventh strikeout, and strikes out Heisel with the tying run at second base here in the top of the seventh. But the Phillies pick up one on one hit and a big error, um, a huge error by the left fielder, Jones. And uh, we go to the bottom of the seventh. The Mets are going to bring up their leadoff hitter, Harrelson. <clears throat> so it's a 1 1 5. 1 1 5. Is he fresh in the bottom of the seventh? He could be if the decided die says so, and it does. So it's a high fly ball to third baseman and foul ground. Harrelson goes back to the dugout, one away. That's Tommy Agee. Tommy Agee's one for three with a single. A single in the third. And it's a one four four. Flash. Semi flash. Side die says yes. Strikeout. Seventh strikeout for Fryman. And Cleon Jones. Say one four four. I think we just rolled that. Semi flash, but uh, there's no decided to die there. Hero, he's a hero, and there's no decided to die there. I should roll there. See if I use it on the first one, I should, uh, but I don't. I decided I'm not going to do that. And it's a, it's a whiffer. No, it's a ground ball. Hit hard right at the shortstop. Harmon, Harmon rifles it over in one motion to the first baseman, Watkin, for the out. Three up, three down in the bottom of the seventh. Two to one game. Phillies. Rojas, Gullickson, I'm sorry, Callison, and Briggs. Rojas is 0 for 3 on the day. And it's a 1 3 4. Gold catcher, decided that says no. Champion? No. Outfield drama. It's a decided I. Blank. Outfield drama, 1-3. Center fielder, iron, no. Lunging catch. Another beautiful catch by A.G. in center. He's putting on a clinic today. And it's going to be Callison. 4-4-4 four, four, four for Callison. Scrapper, no. Double to right field, unless he's a home run king. <clears throat> so... The tying run is on its second now in the form of Callison, and it's going to be Briggs. Briggs is 0 for 2. He walked in his last at bat. So here we are on the top of the eighth, and it's a 1 3 6. Is he an ace? Yes, he is. So it's a strikeout. And uh, it was a beautiful curveball. That just had Briggs totally fooled. Dave Watkins, who's 0 for 3 today. He has three strikeouts. And see, 1-5-6. See, 
Is he a whiffer? Yes, he is. Strike three. Strikes out for the fourth time. I think that's a golden sombrero, is it not? Check that with me. So that's it. Uh, they leave one stranded at second base. And it's still 2-1 to one Mets. We go to the bottom of the eighth for Clendenin. Swoboda and Charles. Clendenin is 2-3. for three. Scored a run in his first game as a Met in 1969. He was came over from Montreal. 3-4-6. 3-4-5. Excuse me. Iron catcher. No. Good eye. No. Strikeout. Takes us to the blue. So it's a strikeout for Clendenin. And we go to the right now for Swoboda. Right now for Swoboda. And Swoboda is neutral. It's 1-3. Is the pitcher cold? No. So it's a line out, and the center fielder, Heisel, is right there. Two away. And we go to Ed Charles. Ed Charles is 0 for 1 on the day with two walks. And it's a 1 6 6. Is the pitcher a workman? Semi workman, and he is a workman, so that's a single. Single for Ed Charles. With two outs. It's be Jerry Grody. And it's three four five. Three four five. Iron catcher, no. Good eye. No. Strikeout. And over to the blue. So that's the eighth and ninth strikeout, and that's uh, the third out of the bottom of the eighth inning. And that's uh, two and the Phillies one. And we go to the top of the ninth inning. It's going to be the right now chart for Mike Ryan against Tom Seaver. Say 1 6. Hot pitcher. Well, he struck out his last batter. So, yes, he is a hot pitcher. Batter fools. Uh, fools batter into swinging outside pitch. Easy ground to the shortstop. So it's a slow dribbler to the shortstop who rifles it over to first. Nice play by Harrelson. And it's Joseph, the third baseman, Rick Joseph. Let's see, let's see what the decider die says. Can't even see it. 2-3-5. Uh, 2-3-5, two, three, five. Two, three, five, wild, eager. Semi-eager, he is eager. So it's a single through short unless he's a whiffer. And he is a whiffer, so that's strike three. Two away. So Seaver is one out away from a victory, two to one victory here against the lowly 70 and 92 Phillies. And it's three, five, six. Are they the same? Righty versus righty, strike three. Game over. 10 and 11. So. Seaver strikes out 11 in this game. Dominates. Gave up one run. Really on an error, so it's an unearned run. No home runs. Hits. One. Two. Three. Three hits. Nine innings. Gets the win. Walks, one, two, three, four, four walks. So let's look at his stats. Let's compare his stats. And uh, the Seaver experiment goes on. They or Originally, he got the win, pitched nine, seven hits, one run, one earned run, one walk, nine strikeouts, one home run. In the replay, got the win, nine innings pitched, three hits, one run, zero earned runs, four walks, and 11 strikeouts with zero home runs. So there you go. That is start 16 of 35. And this is June 24th. I believe he's got one more start in June, and then we're going to compile stats again. So watch out for the next game. It will be tomorrow. I played a doubleheader today. It is 10.50. Uh, please comment and, uh, and subscribe and like and all of that cool stuff. Uh, signing off, Combat Painter um, from Shy Park. Uh
I'm sorry, from Shea Stadium in Flushing, Queens, New York. Final score, Mets 2 and the Phillies 1. Take care.